Wild turkey population is booming in Minnesota. The turkeys are becoming less wild and more comfortable blocking traffic, digging up garden beds, and just straight up chilling in urban environments. Reporter Audrey Russo has our story. This building on U of M St. Paul campus might as well be the White House. We'll put a shoe cover on top. Zipped and dipped. More disinfectant. An antiseptic secret service. Layers of security required to see some presidential poultry. <laughs> Only the Perdon turkeys actually get a really luxurious life. Liberty, here. Wherever I go, he goes. So he kind of like walks in that way. Liberty and Bell, <laughs> pardoned by President Biden in 2023. Congratulations, birds. Live a life sheltered from the wild. Belly rub. They're almost like a national VIP. They have been in five-star hotels. So this room is air conditioned. They are provided with the sufficient nutrition and management. Liberty. <laughs> they are safe and they are safeguarded. They also like songs. But this nest is only big enough for two. The rest of the turkeys on U of M's campus have to be daring to get dinner. Lunch time for the turkeys. Hi, Mr. Turkey. State DNR officials tell us back-to-back -back years of ideal weather conditions during nesting season have led to this. They're kind of a staple around here and have been for a while. Oh, they're always all over. <laughs> Make a decision. <laughs> a wild turkey boom. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> bringing out everyone's inner cinema major. They really have no fear. Posting bird encounters to this New York Times featured Instagram. I live in Lambda Delta Phi sorority just across the way. So they were like right on our front walkway. So I just gave them some space and used the back door instead. I crossed the crosswalk and I didn't even notice there was one in front of me until I looked up and I was face to face with one of the turkeys. I'm out for like out in the country, South Dakota, but it does remind me a little bit of home. It makes me feel safe. Their growing presence isn't a comfort to Lori Arn. So you're at the top of the pecking order. Yes, for now. I'm the interim director of the Raptor Center. Her wildlife rehabilitators see the waddle as a warning. These turkeys would potentially hurt our birds. And so sometimes when one of our patients lands on the ground, they may start to approach it. So we're very quick to either shoo them out of the way and or get to our bird and, and retrieve it. The DNR will issue permits to destroy wild turkeys, but officials say non-deadly methods are often tried first. After all, they're hungry for a small slice of what Liberty and Belle have. I'm very emotionally attached to them too. A pampered life from an all-powerful pardon. But they're like so like <laughs> soothing, I think. They're very like, you know, Liberty. gorgeous and adorable. And they're just so special, you know. Definitely be on the lookout for those wild turkeys.